starting to and increasingly focus on this contrast, right, between mm -hmm. yourself versus Tom DiNapoli. Are you going to not, given what we saw today with the investigation, are you no longer going to make that a campaign issue? Well, we still have, you know, like we said at the beginning of this interview, the we have the transparency right. questions and the questions of what he did, when, and who he met with, and all those questions that we've been asking for months. We actually kept that um, just uh, kind of relatively quiet. We had issued a series of FOIL requests, waiting for the data, thinking that he would comply. He said it was too um, broad. He was sitting here with me on the show, and he said he thought that the, it was an impossible uh, request to fill. Well, last I checked, uh, any, all you have to do to print your calendar is press print and outlook. And I assume that the, the gentleman who manages 2,600 people and consumes $380 million of taxpayer resources in the controller's office every year has the ability to do that. 